First thing we want to do is remove our oil fill cap. That's going to help the crankcase vent properly when draining our engine oil. After that, using a 12 millimeter socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. And while the engine oil is draining, it's a good idea to check your crush washer for any damage or if it's missing. Because if it is, you'll want to go ahead and replace it to prevent any future leaks. Now, we'll reinstall our drain bolt and torque it to 22 foot-pounds. Now, we'll go ahead and remove our oil filter. It's located towards the front of the motorcycle. You can wedge your arm between the fairings so you don't have to remove them on this job. The old oil filter out. Let's prep the new oil filter. We'll do that by taking a light, thin coat of oil and putting it on the O-ring. That'll help removing it next time a lot easier. And we'll want to torque this to 20 foot-pounds. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Honda recommends using a 10W30 Gen 4 motorcycle engine oil, and this unit holds 3.8 quarts. Now let's reinstall our oil fill cap. And now we're going to start the engine up, let it idle for a few moments. If the oil gets good and circulated through the system, we'll go ahead and shut it back down and then let it set for a few more moments. That's going to help us achieve an accurate oil level reading. Now we want to inspect the oil level. We want it to be between the lower and upper portions of the sight glass. And this looks great, so let's hit the road.